Howdy. This is Tom, a disabled prepper. Welcome back. So I'm going to continue my basic civics discussion today, and we're going to discuss <clears throat> natural rights. Now, natural rights goes back as far as man's been on this planet. Right? These natural rights are rights that were given to us by virtue of the fact that we are human beings born and living creatures in God's creation. Now, God has designed each creature. Some people will say evolution. Still don't believe in that. Don't believe in evolution. Uh, DNA and the construction of the human eye, in my opinion, is proof enough that this all did not happen by accident. Anyone that wants to truly research how the human eye is formed, how it works, and DNA structure, yeah, uh, you'll never convince me that evolution is real. So, uh, but most people who know me probably know already that I believe in creation. Anyway, so God created everything, all creatures, all plants, all grasses, everything. Each of these things all have their own form of self-defense. Uh, a mouse is able to def defend itself against a cat by crawling into much smaller places than a cat can get to into. Um, a elephant is able to defend itself against tigers by uh, they, they form in herds, they put the babies in the middle and the adults use their tusks, their, their um, trunks, and, um, and their sheer mass and size to protect the herd from the tiger. Uh, man also was designed to protect himself, both by the herd instinct, and that is we are able to protect ourselves against aggressors by outnumbering them, being stronger than, that, than them, being faster than them, which is a very important example that we need to learn as a society to protect ourselves against this current repressive government. But anyway, I believe it was Samuel Colt who said that the, the Colt pistol, the peacemaker, was the great equalizer. And I've spoken of this before, how a 100-pound female can protect herself against a 300-pound man if she is properly armed and properly trained. Uh, the firearm is a great equalizer. So, in natural rights, um, in our Constitution, it says, we hold these truths to be self-evident in the Declaration of Independence. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal and are endowed by their Creator. So we have creation mentioned twice. Um, they are endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights, these being life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Now, how can you have life if you are unable to defend yourself? So as a natural right, we are granted by God, by the Creator, as humans, to be able to defend ourselves. As I already mentioned, we can defend ourselves by quantity over um, uh, stronger, uh, over strength, over uh, superior aggressor. But we can also defend ourselves with firearms. And the Founding Fathers knew this. That's why the Second Amendment, as I call it, one amendment to protect them all, that's why the Second Amendment was put in there, because we are in, uh, endowed by our Creator with certain unalienable rights, and that is the life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, as I've already said. So, uh, we are endowed as living beings the right to protect ourselves. That is not something that is granted to us by governmental decree. That is something that is given to us by our Creator and we are allowed to use to protect our own life and our own liberty. This, um, so anyway, it seems to me it seems very simple. It doesn't require much more explanation than that. However, you need to really kind of just take that thought and mull it over a little bit and put it down in your heart as truth. That is the truth. We are not granted our firearms because Uncle Joe says it's okay. Uh, we are granted our firearms um, as a right by the Founding Fathers, by God himself, to protect ourselves, both against someone who's going to break into my apartment and, 
and try to hurt me or against a repressive government. So anyway, very simple, not much more to it than that. That is the foundation upon which our society is built. We have this natural right to defend ourselves. Okay. Thanks for watching my videos. I appreciate it sincerely. Thanks to all my subscribers and those who watch. Please comment, share, like, subscribe. Um, and most importantly, remember, keep your nose in the wind and your eyes along the skyline. Till we meet again, bye.